A while back, I did a video on a Navaja from a gentleman in Spain named Miguel Barbuda. The knife came in, I loved it. I've been carrying it and using it. He really does a phenomenal job. I love finding artisans from different countries that express their culture and their blades and put their heart into it. Miguel seems like that kind of smith. I like the Navaja so much that I wanted to try one of his fixed blades. He tries to blend that traditional Spanish influence with his own modern take on it, which makes for a very cool piece. Hi, Max. It's okay. My daughter Belle's filming, so the dog just barked. So, um, back to the knife. So, I've really shied away from... Here, show Max on the video. Stop, he's gonna try to eat it. So, I ordered one of Miguel's El Bravos with a five and a quarter inch blade. This is the knife right here. Again, Miguel takes classic, traditional Spanish designs, puts his own spin on it. Like I said before, it's a, it's a great spin. Now, this knife is made of S35, which supposedly is the latest, greatest, better than SV30, I, I suppose. I'm not a big fan for stainless fixed blades, but on a knife that, let's face it, this is designed as more of as a, a fighter than a woodsman's knife. Um, find out. Another thing about this knife that is, is a little different than Miguel's usual El Bravos is this one has a tapered tang. And I believe this is Miguel's first tapered tang in this style of knife. Miguel seemed to really like how it came out. I do too. Um, if you're not familiar with tapered tangs, many are, many aren't. A tapered tang, you know, takes away the, the paperweight feel of a knife and just adds a little bit of refinement to it. Miguel, if this really was his first tapered tang knife, did a beautiful job in doing it. The horns are, are very cool. They're Spanish fighting bull. Now, I love bulls. I love Spanish fighting bulls. I don't like bullfighting, but I do like bulls. And I thought that coming from Spain, being somewhat of a classic design, the El Bravo with the Spanish fighting bull handle scales would be a very cool, very cool piece. And it is, I really, really like it. The knife feels fantastic in my hand. It's super quick, it's super ductile. It really feels like a scalpel. Um, and I, you see, kind of pointy scalpel. For a sheath, I had another Spanish maker, Jose Quercur. Make a pouch sash style sheath. Paul Long and I used to do a bunch of these. It's a great design for carrying a fixed blade in a very secure way. You can either put it in cross straw or behind the hip. You could go in waistband. Just numerous ways to carry this knife. With a suit jacket, you'd never see this knife and the knife draws very quickly. Just a, a very neat way to carry a knife. There is a static line on here. The point of the static line is in a hurry, if you grab for the knife, and you happen to take the sheath with you, when it hits the end of the static line, the knife still breaks and draws. Thrilled with it. Very cool, very, in my mind, visceral looking piece that it's done by a fantastic maker and I'm very happy with it. Miguel Barbudo, Jose Quercur, both make excellent products. I'm glad I've met them and I'm glad I can use their stuff, and I appreciate you for looking. Guys, thank you very much. Miguel, awesome blade, thank you.